watching David Graham's Sports Report. I'm watching what? David Graham's Sports Report. Okay. What are you guys watching? You watching? Okay. <laughs> okay. We all know that the diner has fantastic food. We know it's always hot, fresh, and fast to your table every day. But did you know that the diner offers cupcake of the day? Next time you visit the diner on Jack's World Pike, be sure to ask for not only the luncheon special, but ask for the cupcake of the day. That's only at the diner on Jack's Pearl Pike, home of great food, great people, and great service. Jack's Pearl Middle School was on the road at Oneida Tuesday night, but their next three games were homies starting with Thursday night as they played Horace Maynard. The girls won in overtime 25 to 23, and I thought we were never going to get this game done as the refs blew the whistle on every possession for both teams. The coach of the Devils of Horace Maynard got kicked out of the game. Campbell County's finest went over to escort the gentleman out of the gym, and he was protesting, saying, you don't know who you're dealing with, and he didn't look like anyone I knew. They didn't deserve to win after only scoring one measly point at the end of the first quarter, but then again, we only scored five. At the half, it was eight to seven Devils. At the end of three, it was 16-13 us. And at the end of regulation, it was all tied up at 22 all. And then we won in overtime. Mackenzie Seaver led the Lady Eagles with 12 points. Sarah Kane added seven, and Megan Muggeridge had six. The JV girls won their game 29 to 21. Raylan Minot led the Baby Eagles with 12 points. Trinity Hood had seven, and Trinity King had four. The boys hit the floor next. They led six to five at the end of one. They were down 20 to 18 at the half, and they had their biggest lead as they was leading 31 to 24 at the end of three, but fell in the final quarter 36 to 33. We were only able to hit one bucket in the final quarter, and that won't get her done. Landon Reese came up big though with 19 points. Jacob McGuire had six, and Josh Lay added four, and that was it. Now on the 14th, it will be homecoming down there when they will host Robertsville. And then the one everyone looks forward to when La Follette Middle School comes calling for the second and final time of the season. And don't forget that game is on the 17th. And also don't forget our very own Adam Smith will be there with the WLF Sports Network crew to bring it to you live. La Follette Middle School's remaining schedule looks like this. Tuesday night, they were at Lake City. On the 14th, they're going to be at home against Lake City. And we'll be up there for that one. And then, of course, the showdown, the big one, as we mentioned, the Battle of the Birds at Jacksboro Middle School on the 17th. When you call for just any ambulance service, you never know what you might get. But when you call Vinyl Care at 423-562-9370, you'll get an experienced staff, experienced and professional people who know what the word emergency really means. Don't just trust anyone. You do have a choice when it comes to ambulance service in this area. 562-9370. Thanks for watching my papa on WLAS. Tonight, Friday night, the Cougars are at Halls to face the Red Devils. Now you can log on to 1450WLF.com and join the voice of the Cougars, Adam Smith, as he brings you all the action. So just log on to 1450WLF.com, click on the Cougar icon there, and you're there. Also tonight, the Blue Devils will host Sunbright, and don't forget you can log on to 1450WLF.com and join the voice of the Blue Devils, Jim Freeman, and just click on the Blue Devils icon there, and you can hear that game. Now, there's going to be a new basketball league start up, and the sign-ups are this Saturday, January the 12th, from 10 to 2 p.m., and for more information, you can call 423-494-5927. And don't forget the Camel County Youth Basketball League starts tonight, or this afternoon, I should say, at 545 at East and West LaFollette, so take your pick and go enjoy some basketball, and they'll also go at it on Saturday as well. Okay, that's a real quick look at today's sports. I want to remind you to follow the Cougars and the Blue Devils right here on the WLF Sports Network at 1450WLF.com. Hey, just log on tonight, and like I said, click on an icon. Pick one. Hey, stay tuned. There's lots more to come right here on WLAF.